So a few years ago, I bought this bear off of Craigslist. It was $5. And somewhere in the past, it's got a hole drilled in it. I don't think I drilled that hole. I know I cut that accidentally using this as a sawhorse, but I don't think I drilled the hole. There's also a hole up here. When I bought it, I don't think they told me it had holes in it. So I'm not using this as a pontoon for the pontoon boat, but I want to cut it on an angle and make a water diverter out of it. That's today's goal. So I just took the sawzall and cut the top off of this barrel. Now I'm going to flip it around and cut the bottom off of it. Then it's time to do some diagonal sawing. Or we could stop right here and have a really good trash can. Okay, cut two is now done. That one was done on the table saw and I came with the sawzall and just cut out these thick parts. Now we got to do a diagonal. Hang on. So for my diagonal cut, I've got these vice grips holding my tape measure. And there is a line here that goes straight up and down. And there's a line on the opposite side that goes straight up and down. This line right here. So I brought the tape measure to the other side. And then that's my diagonal line. I traced it with a Sharpie. I'll flip it over do the same thing again. We'll cut it out. Cut number three will go this way and that way and meet up on the opposite end down there, making another point. We'll have two uh, diverters. This is step three. So on our fourth cut, there's two ways to have done this. I've got my speed square, I need a 90 degree angle, and it goes right to the center. That's one way to do it. But the way I did it, make this part level, then draw a plumb line, cut it off, do that to both sides, we got it. So there's my scrap from cutting up this barrel, and I've got two of these pieces. The top that we cut off, that represents the barrel on the front of the boat, and that is what it'll look like once we get it on. I'm gonna use some kind of two before framing, then screw straight into the two befores. And if water gets inside there, I don't really care. I mean, you could fill it with foam or caulk it or whatever. I think I'm gonna leave mine open for now. Let's put the diverter in, see how it looks. That's exactly what I was looking for. So I'm trying to get ready for another spring trip tomorrow. The boat is already hooked to the car and I just cut two boards. These two are for that side. These two are for this side. And that's what the water deflectors are going to screw to. I got one installed, one to go. And it's about to storm, so yeah, maybe we should hurry. But go ahead and storm today and be pretty tomorrow. That's what I say. So one of the diverters is fully installed. If we come up top, I took the deck board off and there's a screw going in this way, there's a screw going in that way, there's two screws coming up to the bottom. And I could get some spray foam and fill up this whole chamber. I think what I'll do is just get some empty like laundry detergent jugs, two liter bottles, fill this up with things that hold air, put the deck board back on and call it done. Or we could put the hinge on this, that could be a compartment for uh, Things that don't matter if they get wet. Fins. Hold on a second. Oh, that is a perfect fit for fins. Okay, let me think about that. We might have a hinge on here. And could do a hinge on the other side, have another compartment. Can't have too much storage. Okay, I've loaded my possible storage space. I gotta find the hinges. It will fold up like that. Look at that, wetsuit. Son, where's your life jacket at? One of them right here. Bungee. There's my rope for the anchor or if you want to do some magnet fishing. Got a snorkel. My water boots. And then a fin. And another fin. That's a lot of space. And the door, I don't know yet, it might fold up this way. That's probably what it'll do. Put the hinge down through that like a stud. And this is brace face number two. 
it is on and ready for the diverter to be installed. Let's install it. And the good news is there's a seam down the middle telling me where to put the screws in at. And now moving to the back, I just screwed this together. Any idea what that's for? You're getting warmer. That's going to be like a step when you're riding along, you can keep your feet on it, or when you want to get back in the boat, you climb on that and you can climb up into the boat. Be a little ladder, one step ladder. And so there's the step, step ladder in place as you're riding. Put your feet up on it. I wonder if we could also strap the uh, paddles to this. Hang on a second. This just in. So now with this little board added, I've got all my paddles organized. You need a paddle? Reach in, twist it, pulls out, put it back. If you look under there, they tuck into that front box. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Where? There they are. Paddle one, two, three, and a spare paddle is even farther up in there. Paddle storage, check. Somewhere to put your feet, check. Front pontoon water diverters, can't see them from this angle, but check. It's time to hit the river. We have arrived at the river again. This time it is the Suwannee River. Right across the river, we're going to find Fanning Springs. Uh, I can zoom in on the sign. Let's keep on zooming. So we used the boat ramp. We are now in the water. The girls are working on getting on some life jackets. We're about to start kicking across. About to where you see the kayakers. Did you figure it out? No. Let's take the umbrella off. Okay. And we're off. And if you look back behind the boat, there's a baby gator half, half of a baby gator, the front half.
have to call this the ravioli boat. We have more canned pasta. That's spaghetti and meatballs. She's got some lasagna. She's also got some, keeping it a secret. Hang on. Oh, she's keeping it a big secret. There it is. Raviolis and meatballs. I guess I'm gonna try lasagna. Oh, and we've got the anchor out. That's the magnet. You know, just in case something's in there. If you want lasagna, I'll share mine with you. I'll trade with you. And the Chips Ahoy are open. I think the girls like Chips Ahoy. Mm. Swimming makes you hungry, in case you don't know it. And just missed it, there was a manatee swam through. I'm keeping my eyes up in case he comes back. So we've been here about seven hours. I think we're gonna leave now. Go out and play in the Swanee a little bit. Then we've got a motel room. Tomorrow we're hitting a different spring. This one's fanning. Tomorrow we're supposed to go to Manatee.